Nastron School of Physical Suffering and Mental Anguish. Go Wildcats! It's where demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you most, uh, most effectively. More pertinent to your personal predicament, it looks like your little soon-to-be friend Fella works there in uh, Bobline Park. It's also where you guys just, just were. If you remember, like, ten minutes ago? What's Bobolin Park like? You know, when people aren't being processed. It's just your typical college town. Every spring, the students dress the trees up and go carcasses. Every fall, the slime moat's set on fire. Nothing too unusual. Picture South Bend, but without all the secret Nazis. I think at our school they'd sometimes hang, like, socks from mailboxes, so... Yeah, pretty similar. Radio, almost to Bobolon. Hold on to something. The, uh, the tide's gonna be a little choppy coming in. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. And, uh, just remember that when you sign for the tent. So, this place should look a little familiar. You got processed here. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Remember that? When you were processed? Yes, we remember. Of course you do! You don't forget a thing like that, your first promenade through hell. All right, the guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a... what day is it? Tuesday? But, you know, whatever. It's your story. I'll be honest. Um, pardon me? Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. Okay, you two. I know this sack smell bad, but you can't just... We're not... No. Are you fella? Because we're here for the spare invite to Satan's party, your, um, vicar post. Oh, that! Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Oh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? I only know what cops are like from the TV we get here. Yeah, why does that matter? Do you need something detected? Because I'm really good at finding loose change in my socks. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties! The, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and... 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry. We sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastron. The job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! Hey, it's the Nastron school mascots. A leopard, a lion, and a she-wolf. Hmm. Established at the onset of humanity's axial age to combat ignorance of the flabby creature's quickening development. I wonder if they let people take classes. Anyway, this morning, Debbie down in Dispatch told me the head counts off. One too many. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! I've already checked the grounds, so it's gotta be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in? Hey, here we are! Before we go in, I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a backstory. A cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the Plain of Burning Sand, come to try out their hot wings, and... I am, uh, well, self-explanatory, really. I'm your child. Your dead child you made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you... I'm, uh, sorry, fella, but I'm not really, uh... Just how does this make sense? Yeah, are there really babies in hell? Wouldn't they just, like, get a pass? Um, no one really gets a pass for being a selfish, narcissistic sociopath. Babies get the fucking express lane here. But... And last but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Why don't we just say, let's What about, what about, wonderful weather we're having tonight? 
Oh, yeah, cool. That uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should, like, get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Um... To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not even on. Uh, maybe. <laughs> like, let's just see where the night takes us. And if the night takes us away from you and everything about this, then maybe the planets just weren't aligned. Okay, well, we, we'll just, we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's, that's fine. Well, uh, whenever you're set, Whoa, okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Holy shit! Felicia! Oh, shit. Is that shit? Yeah, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck, Weather is really man? wonderful tonight, right? Don't you think? About the weather? You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just, you might not be detectives, but you have functioning eyeballs, and that's enough. Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be, uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felatio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? <laughs> Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now what are you pups in the mood for? I guess I'll have a uh, bang bang. One bang bang coming up. I'll have the same. All right, all right, attention everybody. Look. I know, finding ourselves in hell, it's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Boo! I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff, but let's not let our untimely deaths ruin what could still be the best bachelor's party of all time. Woo! All right, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler, but it takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. Charlie, 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 Charlie. <laughs> right, so Michelle, that was my fiance's name. My angel had the keen foresight to have her bachelorette party at home. She reads in some magazine article that every wedding should have a theme, and she decides that ours is going to be opposites attract. Since everyone we ever met used to say we were polar opposites of each other. I thought it was a dumb idea, but you know what they say, for better or worse. <laughs> Your wife-to-be sounds like a real winner, champ. Sorry I'll never get to run it into the end zone. Yeah, well, I mean, you either live to see your soulmate waste away painfully of pancreatic cancer, or you die first, banging strippers on your rented 85% suede party bus. So, anyways... Anyways, the bachelor party. My best man, Pete and Barry, brought all this fertilizer. That's the name of a new drug that makes you forget your nieces and nephews. But after we got on the bus, things got a little foggy after that. These names, Barry, Pete, Lola, are you taking, like, notes here? Notes? What are you talking about? Hello, strangers I just met. He didn't say notes. He said, are you taking any goats here? Yeah, we were uh, 
sheep farmers in our previous lives. What would a sheep farmer need with a goat? Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? <laughs>